My name is H.A. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. Please go ahead and share my latest Daily Caller article, Free Julian Assange. Thank you so much for the kind words and the support regarding that article. Share that everywhere. It explains exactly why Julian Assange of WikiLeaks should have always been free, should never have been persecuted. And I also explain that there's zero evidence. There's zero evidence pertaining to the Trump-Russia WikiLeaks nonsense. It's, it's a complete fabrication. They've been investigating Trump since 2015. And isn't it interesting how Mueller hasn't even contacted Julian Assange? Yet there's this big, elaborate, um, big, elaborate conspiracy. Hasn't contacted WikiLeaks. Hasn't contacted the alleged uh, Russian spy, Natalia Vasilinskaya. Hasn't contacted all the people that are said to be part of Trump-Russia collusion. So go ahead, share that article. I explain that um, UK prosecutors destroyed evidence. Assange should have been uh, free in 2013. That was There was never a case to begin with. And uh, the UK pressured Sweden. I can go on forever. Please go ahead, read that article. Judge and Matt, so basically what Julian Assange is facing, and this is why I'm a Trump supporter. I'm a Trump supporter. The DNC is suing WikiLeaks. That's one thing that just pushed me over the edge. I was leaning towards voting for Trump. I wasn't 100% sure, but then I realized, you know what? In addition to peace on the Korean Peninsula between North and South Korea, in addition to an end of a war that was going ongoing for almost 70 years, presiding over that, he deserves the Nobel Peace Prize, in addition to a good economy, steel tariffs that I do agree with, a whole bunch less, an infinitely less hawkish foreign policy than any Democrat in 2020, certainly than Hillary Clinton. But the fact that when you look at what's the persecution that Julian Assange is facing, even from Trump's administration, which I'm against 100%, 100%, but I know that the fuel, the fire, the motivation for all of this is the Democratic Party. Assange published and WikiLeaks published information, just published pristine documents. That's all, that's all they do. That exposed the corruption of Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton. Uh, well, Bill Clinton, yes, and the Podesta, but Hillary, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, they cheated Bernie Sanders, and they engaged in a whole other, a whole lot of other corrupt activities. But when you look at what's taking place. Assange is being persecuted, and if they could do what they've done to Julian Assange to Trump, the Democrats would. It's true that Trump's administration is continuing um, what Obama started in terms of persecuting WikiLeaks, but I feel that the like the foundation for that is the Democratic Party's allegiance to the deep state or their unholy alliance. The FBI, the CIA, and the NSA have a $35 billion budget combined. And they've blamed Russian hackers for hacking into the DNC. But the DNC is a private entity. And now we have uh, that says it can do whatever it wants. Well, then why on earth are we um, basing foreign policy to help a private entity? Now you have Judge in Manafort case says Mueller's aim is to hurt Trump. Mueller's aim is to hurt Trump. The Democrats' aim is to hurt WikiLeaks. The Democrats' aim is also to utilize the same intelligence community that views WikiLeaks to be a threat against Trump. Obama went after whistleblowers. Obama won the Nobel Peace Prize. Yet only one candidate said, I love WikiLeaks. That was President Donald Trump. Even Pompeo tweeted DNC emails. Um, busted, basically he implicated Obama in that tweet as well. Of course he changed his tune when he became um, CIA director. So, but I'm saying the, the push, the political will, the it's all coming from the Democratic Party. It's all coming from Hillary Clinton, who will eventually get indicted. There's too many crimes. There's too much evidence. And now we're finding out that Comey, set up and framed by uh, General Flynn, Michael Flynn. And now we're finding out that the judge in Manafort's case, when he sued 
he's he basically said, you know what, f you, Mueller, I'm suing you. So, and we're finding out that what do we have here? CNN. This is very important. So I did a segment on this, but this segment is specifically what do Democrats? What do they want? They want to defeat Trump without defeating him in the polls in, in the, uh, on November, uh, in November of 2020, 2020. In November of 2016, they couldn't defeat him. They knew, they know that they have to try to knock him out through the intelligence community that's now crumbling before their very eyes. So I'll read you. A federal judge expressed deep skepticism Friday of special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation in the bank fraud case against former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort at one point saying he believes that Manafort's motivation is to oust President Donald Trump from office. You don't really care about Mr. Manafort's bank fraud, Ellis said to prosecutor Michael Dreeben, at times losing his temper. They want prosecution and impeachment. That's what you're really interested in. Then there's a great... Come on, man. There's a great... Come on, man. Judge in Manafort case... This is the National Review. Accuses Mueller team of lying. All to hurt Trump. So it really doesn't matter. Like, you can go ahead and say, well, I'm, you know, I'm against Republican policies. Or Trump is this ogre, this racist, this sexist. Really? What was Hillary Clinton when she was spreading the birther myth on her own? I'm against Trump for what he did with the birther myth. I'm against. I, I'm. I'm. I say I condemn that. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that. But what about what Hillary Clinton did as a as a as a, um, as a Democrat? So now you have. Okay. So. Let's go ahead. The federal judge presiding, uh, presiding over Paul Manafort's tax and bank fraud uh, case chastised attorneys representing special counsel Robert Mueller Friday for misrepresenting the aim of their investigation and overstepping their authority in bringing fraud, uh, fraud charges, charges against the former Trump campaign chairman. I don't see what relationship this indictment has with anything the special counsel is authorized to investigate. We said this was the invest. What th we said this was what the investigation was about, and we're not bound by it, and we're lying. He said, "Come on, man, you don't really care about Mr. Manafort. What you really care about is the information Mr. Manafort could give you that would reflect on Mr. Trump or lead to his prosecution or impeachment or whatever." So all of this, this is a this is he, he's being charged on bank fraud when that bank fraud could easily have been taken care of um, in court proceedings outside the, the Mueller probe. So why, why, are, why are they going after Manafort or Michael Flynn or Gates or Papadopoulos or uh, the, Russia, the Dutch lawyer or um, all the other people, they're only doing it for one thing. They're doing it to impeach Trump. Mueller is not this independent actor. He is an FBI, head of the FBI under Obama. Comey was the head of, oh, sorry, yeah, Comey was the head of the FBI under Obama. And when you say, well, you know, he was also under Bush, Mueller, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's the Democratic Party, the Democrats love George Bush now. He is, has, actually has a favorable rating among Democrats. Let's just read this. George Bush, favorable Democrats. What kind of insane sick? Most Dems have a favorable view of George W. Bush. That's another reason to vote for Trump. The Democratic Party. And, don't, and, and people say, well, George, Bush, I wish, wish we had Bush again. Wh what? What? You, have, you go from the Nobel Peace Prize, a uh, guy who should win the Nobel Peace Prize in Trump, presiding over peace between North and South Korea. And this is a, a profanity alert. This is a profanity alert. Do not listen if you don't want to hear profanity. But you'd rather have a fucking imbecile who is not only the actual, like when people say, oh, war criminal, war criminal. Yeah, you know, there's different ranges. There are, you know, Nure, there's Nuremberg and The Hague. And then there's just 
presidents who just engage in insanity. But then there's Trump. Then there's Bush. Trump is fine. Then there's Bush. Then there's George W. Bush. The crazy baby, baby Bush. The insane, the one who just destroyed the Middle East. Ushered in chaos and mayhem. How do you think ISIS got started? It was Al-Qaeda in Iraq. And once the mayhem and chaos and bloodshed and sectarian violence, um, Saddam was horrible and he was a bastard and a dictator. But um, there wasn't chaos and mayhem that we unleashed on, on unwittingly, or I, should, I don't hate that word, unintentionally. Because of Bush. Because of all the people, the neoconservatives who are now in the Democratic Party and they have a favorable view of Bush. And Trump said, hey, I want to take soldiers out of Syria. And then, oh, what a dink!" And then Democrats were like, he better go ahead and he better just, uh, you know, teach Assad a lesson. Teach Putin a lesson. So what they did was they fabricated everything, and now they're going after they're going after uh, Trump. But now we we found out just today that Michael Flynn was set up. He was set up by McCabe and especially Comey. Agent saw no physical indication of deception. Didn't think he was lying. Didn't think Michael Flynn was lying. House Intel report: McCabe said agents who interviewed Flynn didn't think he was lying. And then Comey, basically, what he essentially stated was, oh, um, well, you know, that didn't line up with what we thought we knew. But they had, li- he's lying, too, because he had already, Flynn had, uh, Comey had already seen, the FBI had already wiretapped General Flynn and listened in on all his calls. So we have an issue now where there's an overt and utter, uh, really, like a soft coup. I want to believe the path you threw out for consideration in Andy's office, that there's no way he gets elected, but I'm afraid we can't take that risk. Strzok texted on August 15, 2016. It's like an insurance policy in the unlikely event you die before you're 40. What's the insurance, insurance policy? What's the risk? What the heck are you talking about? What the heck is Peter Strzok talking about? Okay, well, it's obvious. He's talking about a just basically a, a coup, a media-driven, intelligence community-driven coup. There's no evidence of anything. There's suspicion. There's a lot of suspicion. He used just one-tenth of that suspicion for Clinton. She's indicted and charged forever with crimes. Give me your thoughts below. Share this segment everywhere. Um, the Clinton indictments will take place. Actually, the Democrats are too stupid to realize what's happening because they don't even know what, what winning is. They think winning is, winning the, elect, is, is uh, uh, winning the popular vote. They're like, we won the popular vote. Yeah. Eh, you need the Electoral College, dummies. And this is after they cheated. This is after they cheated Bernie and then forced Bernie to, you know, kiss the unholy ring. Clinton's just... Nasty ring. They're going after Trump because they can't. They can, they know they cannot defeat him. Trump has a certain type of charisma that resonates th- not just th- in the United States but also around the world. You can say that he's like the you know the the bad guy in wrestling, the the, the heel or the you know the the uh, evil wrestler. But people still watch the wrestler that's going up against, they call the the baby face or the, you know, the hero. People still watch that. And that's the worst case scenario. They they claim they hate Trump, but actually they don't. They're fascinated by by President Trump. And what, because they're fascinated, they, they have to go ahead and make him into a caricature because he's actually bigger than the media. So what they do is they say, he's racist. Look what he, so he says things that I disagree with. He said, he said, you know, I have friends who are dreamers, great people, beautiful people. I have known undocumented immigrants, beautiful people. 
So he said he made a statement. Oh, they're they're bring they're bringing in rapists. Okay, that's a, a broad generalization. I don't like people generalize NRA uh, members, even though I'm not one yet, but I will be. I don't like people generalize a whole you know millions of people all into one category. So he generalized. From that, they went crazy. Oh my God, this is the language of what this euphemism and that euphemism and that euphemism. He's emboldening uh, these euphemisms. Oh my God, oh my God. What he's doing is, that, what about Hillary Clinton calling black youth super predators, taking prison lobbyist donations, spreading the, a photo of, of President Obama in African attire? What about Bill Clinton's history of racism? What about all, I mean, you have, they, they get away with so much. And what Bill, Clint, Bill Clinton and, 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 and Hillary Clinton have done is they've warped everything into now social justice warriors on Twitter don't realize. They're like, I don't like Clinton. Yeah, but what you're doing helps, <laughs> helps Clinton because what you're doing actually helps the Democratic Party. How so? I'm going up against Democrats. No, you're not. Not really. You're, you're going up against anyone on the left. You don't even, they don't even really attack Republicans. They kind of do sometimes or conservatives, what they do, what the left does is they have these this infighting where anyone who might think of not voting Democrat gets attacked. Anyone who thinks of even voting for Bernie Sanders gets attacked. So with Bernie Sanders or Jill Stein, what they'll do is they'll attack the identity politics and social justice warriors will attack Bernie and Jill voters. They'll say, well, you know, this, this, that, whatever. And then a Bernie or Jill voter might say, well, you know what? That's exactly what the Democratic Party wants. So why are you acting that way? Oh, well, you know, I'm, I hate Democrats too. At the end of the day, people who say I hate Democrats always either vote Democrat or do everything possible to destroy the chances of a third party on the left. And then they say, well, how did we get Trump? How did we get Trump? Actually, Trump was not only the lesser evil, it's turning out to be a good president. You're like, look at this craziness. And Bill Maher and other people are like, oh, why would you punch yourself in the face? Do you have buyer's remorse? Buyer's remorse about what? The economy is good. You have peace between North and South Korea. That happened because of Trump's diplomacy. And don't say it wasn't diplomacy. Part of diplomacy is engaging in, in this case, in, in, in the beginning of his tenure, uh, certain actions to pressure Kim Jong-un. His relationship with China was a much better relationship that Clinton would have had. Clinton wanted to ring China with missile defense, which is the entire... Re if you intimidate China, the whole reason they had North Korea as an ally is a buffer to the United States. But this is lost among people. No nuance. He's a, he's a nationalist. Okay, well. But you're okay with James Comey, huh? You're cool with James Comey? Could you imagine this guy with... with, with Unlimited power at the FBI. James Comey's like pathological. The dude is like a pa And then on, on Twitter, Dr. Phil, I had a nice message for Dr. Phil on Twitter. I told him to go, you know what? Because he was like, I think Kanye West is not normal. Well, Dr. Phil, why don't you go ahead and use your amazing uh, psychoanalysis on Hillary, who's blaming everything from... Um, you know, garden snakes to, uh, you know, you know, everything, butterflies, uh, the Russians, the Electoral College, um, staplers, anything that he, she could think of. It's their fault. Capitalism. Now she's like, well, I'm a capitalist. <laughs> yeah. Here's a little also newsflash on it. Like, you know, I'm not supporting Bernie anymore, but... Bernie Sanders was not a socialist, like, wanting to nationalize. No, he, ne he never wanted to nationalize. He was a democratic socialist. So when Ezra Klein uh, was like, <laughs> he was like, he had this interview with Bernie early on. And to destroy Bernie's chances because Vox is, you know, an establishment, uh, Democratic Party, basically newsletter. And what he did when, when he first interviewed Bernie, he was like, uh, so you're a socialist, huh? <laughs> And Bernie was like, democratic socialist, democratic socialist. It's different. And there are differences. He wants to break up banks to make capitalism work, which I think even... Um, who was... Lots of... 
economists who love capitalism wanted to break up banks. Um, Alan Greenspan wanted to break up banks. Okay, so he, Alan Greenspan's not a democratic socialist. <laughs> And I wouldn't vote for just like a socialist who would nationalize. I would never have. That's not. He doesn't want to national. He didn't want to nationalize anything. Actually, that happened with Bush and Obama. Banks were nationalized. Um, Greenspan calls to break up banks too big to fail. Okay, so that's just one article. Greenspan break up big banks. This is two thousand and nine. It's not Bernie. So, whatever. I mean, you know. Alan Greenspan, former federal chairman, uh, reserve chairman, said Thursday that banking regulators should consider breaking up large financial institutions considered too big to fail. This is October 15, 2009. Okay. Anyway, the point here is this. They want Trump out. Getting back to <laughs> the segment. They want Trump out. They want him out. They want him out. They want him out. They want him out. They know they can't beat him, so they're like, how can we – and it's all crumbling. Manafort is not going get, to uh, get, get jail time. It's not going to happen. Okay, it's – they're trying to indict him for – under the Russia probe, and it doesn't matter. Rosenstein is on its way out too. That guy is a piece of work also. They're, these, these are like the most corrupt – this is profanity alert. This is a profanity alert. These motherfuckers are the most corrupt bureaucrats on the planet. They're like, yeah, you know uh, – Comey lied under oath. So the IG report's going to come out, and there's already a criminal referral for An An Andrew McCabe. He did lie, unlike Michael Flynn. Flynn's not going to go to jail. He's going to either get cleared or pardoned, and he, sh he needs to. He didn't do anything wrong. Manafort's not going to go to jail. Then you have Gates and Papadopoulos. They're like, okay. But they, nobody really knows what's going on there. Um... And you have the Internet Research Agency. All 13 of these Russians are, like, flicking us off from Russia. <laughs> They're like, hey, you! Try to get us! <laughs> He's like, catch us if you can, stupid Americans! Vladimir Putin's laughing. There's, like, that meme of him. He's, like, holding the little puppy, laughing. Americans are stupid. Um... And here, and we're like, and Democrats, can you believe, like, I, uh, Michael Caputo, the guy who, this is a profanity alert, who said, God damn you, to, God damn you to hell, to the, to the Democrats, on the, um, on the CNN, uh, channel on YouTube, you should see the comments, the most insane, um, this is a profanity alert, the most insane, sick, diabolical, fucks like the comments were like from people who were like this is a profanity alert well actually there's the comments like oh me likey muller this is the this is like the average democrat They're, they don't like this guy michael caputo has nothing to do with trump russia there's no evidence that trump did anything with russia there's no ev there's actually no evidence of anyone around him doing anything with russia but they want to hurt him somehow get him out and then there's like it's literally a segment on how Michael Caputo's life was overturned, and all these people's lives were overturned. They spend over what hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars on lawyers, losing retirement savings. They have to move from where they live next to family members, and you get this comment section on the Anderson Cooper interview where, like, Michael Caputo was like, "Look, my whole life was overturned," and like, they're like, "Oh, he's just butt hurt because you know you sleep with with the dogs, you get fleas, ha ha ha." And they're like, and on the comment section, they're like, um, oh, yeah, me likey Muller. He's sexy. And then they're like, the Stormy Daniels lawyer is sexy. This is, I don't know if they're paid trolls. It, that sounds like the average disgruntled, delusional Democrat. They're like, this is going great. Oh, my gosh, I love Mueller time. They're literally like, I love Mueller time. This is it. This is the, this is the thing. This is awesome. These people are so diabolical. They love it. They think this is politics. They think this is normal. If Trump went after somebody for no reason, for no reason, and tried to ruin their life politically for no reason, without any evidence, he would be taken to task not only by CNN, but by actual Trump supporters. I know this 
because you could just look at look at um, Alex Jones. He went nuts when Trump, uh, you know, fired missiles at, at, at Syria. Do you think Rachel Maddow went nuts when uh, Obama did the same thing, or when Obama destroyed Libya, or when Obama, uh, you know, droned the planet, or jailed whistleblowers, or did all the other things he did? No way. It's a cult. I'm telling you, I left the Democratic Party. That's why I'm like really, I wasn't really thinking of, you know, you know, getting guns and going to the gun range and shooting and enjoying myself and, you know, having a great time peacefully, law abiding, you know, with instructors there and having a great time at the range. I went to the range today. Awesome. In California. Not far from L.A. Fantastic. I had a great time. Shot a, a, a 45 Glock and a 357 uh, Smith & Wesson revolver. It was fantastic. I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for the insane left. Every horrible tragedy. NRA. Sick, a sick, these sick, insane people. Who, by the way, the FBI are like, I think you, I, I, we know who you are. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Meanwhile, they're like, Russia, we have to go ahead. and you know, No one cares about Russia. Obama sold them uranium. Well, they <laughs> And the left is like, every single crazed, insane person, it's the NRA's fault. It's the NRA's fault. It's the NRA's fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. Their fault. Their fault. Their fault. And then I thought, is it really their fault? How many NRA members go on massive shooting sprees? I'm at this range and I see, like, I'm with, what, you know, 10, 20, 15, 20 people in different, all different lanes. And they're shooting. And, and everyone's law-abiding. Every, I mean, you're trusting every other person to be sane and normal, and they are. And they are. Walked in, you know, got, you know, instructor there, helped me out, and they're all normal and sane. Meanwhile, on Twitter, people who are progressive or left, or, this is a profanity alert. This is a profanity alert. I went to the gun range, treated with, res with respect. I had a fun time. It was wonderful. Shot weapons. It was great. Second Amendment. On Twitter, on Twitter, this is what I get. You sick, f this is a profanity alert. You sick fuck. You crazy. You are out of your fucking mind. You're out of your mind. You need help. You need this. You're insane. You need therapy. You need this psychological evaluation. Your psychoanalysis. Maybe there's something wrong with your fucking brain. Maybe there's something wrong with your brain. I'm like, well, I just had went to a nice, from a nice peaceful environment, the shooting range, to Twitter, and the people who are telling me I have a problem with my brain are all these earth, earth hugging uh, progressives. So, but that's I'm, I'm I'm somewhat embellishing, but that's the way it is. Like, you, you get the same thing. Like, you know, with Dr. Phil, Kanye was like, I I think that, I th this is bad, Dr. Phil. You know, there might be something wrong with Kanye West. Uh, maybe there's something wrong with you, Dr. Phil. Maybe there's something wrong with you. Maybe you should evaluate your life and leave Kanye West alone. Just because he dif disagrees with you politically. And you owe your livelihood to thinking a, thinking a certain way. The only reason we know about Dr. Phil is Oprah. And... Oprah would disassociate herself with Dr. Phil in a second, a heartbeat. If Dr. Phil was like, I'm voting Trump. Yeah, that would be like loss of millions of dollars in revenue. So, um, don't, I, I don't really hear Dr. Phil talking about the destruction of Libya or Hillary Clinton calling black youth super predators um, or um, all the other crazy things that happened during Obama. Give me your thoughts below. Share this segment everywhere. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. I think I'm going to start uh, a channel either on DTube and DoTube. <laughs> I think I'm going to start. There should be like. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to start a channel on DTube or or another channel. To give me a, your thoughts as to a platform because I love YouTube. I love you and I love this channel. I love YouTube, but I don't want to like tarnish anything to do with my channel. So I was thinking of like uploading my little visit to the shooting range. I'm like, eh, probably just play it safe. Um, and uh, this Monday, actually, I'm going to go, like I said, I'm going to go with a buddy of mine who is a veteran of, of Afghanistan. And we're going to go and shoot some really cool guns um, at another place in California. 
and uh, I'll have a longer video. I think I'm probably going to upload that either to DTube or maybe maybe Vimeo. I'm not sure. Maybe both. Um, but isn't the, isn't there like a shooting channel? If there is, let me know. Give me your thoughts below. Share this segment ever. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for listening.